Right, so now here we are outside on a very snowy day. It's pretty damn cold, but at least it's dry. So I'll just roll the bike out, give it a quick clean. And now with the bodywork on, I've pretty much done all I can do with the wiring until, until I get the engine in. But there's still work to do. And there's one particular problem I've got right now that the bike's had since I first sort of put it together. And that problem is, it leans over far too far. So if I now remove this little wooden thing here, and let it lean over on the road, on its side stand, you can see it's dangerously leaning over. So that's a bit odd because it's got a standard uh, side stand on it. And the reason why it's leaning over so far is because these shocks, which are from a ZRX 1200, are much longer than a standard set of shocks would be. When I fitted them, I didn't realize how much longer they were, but I've since found out these are around 365 millimeters, and the standard shocks are only 335. So that's a 30 millimeter difference, which doesn't sound like much, but believe me, it is. And I can tell that because something I did recently that I've not done before is I've sat on it. I never bothered sitting on it before now. So if I now sit on it, oh, you can see the seat height is ridiculously high. I'm almost on tiptoes, which is not right at all. I mean, I'm about 5'10", and normally most bikes fit me no problem. So obviously we have a problem. I can't uh, have the bike like this. I mean, it's going to fall over any minute now. So... I don't want to modify these shocks it's not worth it so what i did instead was i have bought what's in this box here which are a standard set of kawasaki z650 shocks it's a bit of a downgrade because obviously these don't have adjustable rebound and so on just adjustable damping but nevertheless i think it'll work a lot better and given that this bike is being built on quite a small budget for me i didn't want to go out and spend you know a thousand pounds or five hundred pounds on some uh, remote reservoir shocks to replace these i mean it would be lovely to do so but you know maxton's are 12 pounds Olin's are the same sort of price ktex are about 900 and even you know Hagons with adjustable damping are getting on for 400 pounds now so I went for these which are much cheaper and they look like you know the original 650 shocks so although it's a bit of a downgrade I think it'll suit the bike and this bike's not going to be ridden hard over its life I mean it's an old bike now and we'll just uh, you know ride it quite smoothly and simply around the town so yeah let's get those shocks on and hopefully it'll lower the bike down make sure the the bike leans over correctly with the side stand down and enable me to put my feet firmly on the ground. And straight away I have a problem. The ZRX shocks have been modified in the past so to fit them you need to use this little spacer here, little sort of bush, and it won't come off, it will not come off. I've tried, believe me, I've tried, but it won't come off. So I can't fit my new shiny shocks on it, it just won't work, won't work. So. I'm going to push this thing back in the garage on one shock and we'll try and attack this thing with my Dremel. Right here goes then, here's the Dremel. I'm going to try and cut a slot in it so it will relieve the pressure, it should hopefully just fall off then. At least that's the idea. again with this just weaken it and hopefully we'll let go and the heat of grinding will also help to expand it I think and uh, yeah we'll get it off we'll get there in the end mate we'll get there in the end as always I'll just do it like that do it a different way that's it, I've got part of it off now. You see that? Not sure you can tell there. Just grinding the damn thing to pieces. Right, so it didn't take long once because you yeah, had the damn thing to uh, get it off. Look at the state of that. I don't know. And no doubt I've got one on the other side as well to remove. But let's get the new shock, at least on this side. Right here. And so I've just cleaned up a couple of cuts. I've put in the mount 
Uh, hopefully it should go now. Yes, there you go. That's good. So I've got somehow lower the bike by about, what, 25 mil to get the damn thing in. Okay, I can do that well. What I'll have to do is jack it up, take the other side off, and lower it down. I think that's what we'll have to do. Right, I'll go. Nice and gentle. Slow and gentle. You see the difference between the old shocks and the new ones, it's quite a big difference. It's about 35 millimetres, something like that. Right, there we go. Hopefully. There we go. There we go. Well, that took a lot longer than I expected, but there you go. Pop him in there. I'll put some more tight on it later on. But for now, I just want to get the damn thing on its wheels again. That's one side done, let's go on the other side. And so at last I've got the new shocks on the bike. I guess it's more of a case of a, a downgrade in performance, but an upgrade in practicality. So it's now the side stand works fine, it's not leaning over too far. And if I sit on the bike, I'm no longer on tiptoes, I can almost get my feet flat on the ground, which is ideal. So we'll call that a win. It's a shame I couldn't uh, continue those ZRX shocks, but you know, they was too long, too long. So one day if somebody else wants to upgrade the shocks, I'm sure they can do so, but that's gonna be outside the budget of this particular build. Right, so with that done then, tomorrow I'm gonna go to Camcoat and collect the engine cases for the bike, and then the engine build can begin in earnest. So we'll continue this video tomorrow or the next day when that engine build can begin. And now here we are back in my garage again. So by now I'd hope to have the engine cases back from Camcoat where they've been given a really nice silver ceramic finish. But it's been a slight delay, which I understand, so it's not a really big problem. So that'll have to wait until the next episode in the build series. So for now then, this video's gonna be quite a short one for a change. So that's it. So thanks for watching and cheers.